I like the attitude. I'll always keep my end of the bargain to you, Charles. Exactly. Always. Uh, let me just ask you, it, it seems a strange partnership. Why, why are you, I guess you brought Mr. Ramsey here today. What's the connection? Or? He's a friend of mine. He's a friend of yours. Have you, did you know him before all this? Or? About five years ago. Five we years had no reason to chit chat because I didn't need to hear from anything up until now. Okay. He, he gave him advice. Right. You know, and so he's returning the favor coming down and giving I returned, him, exactly. You know, that was the whole point of coming down here. here. Eric all. says, I, got, I want to talk to you about some things. Bring your family, which is one and two. Right. He came down, that's all. Okay. All right. Oh, and I begged him to let me sleep in his house last night. That <laughs> you didn't beg that hard. Would he stay? Right, right. I ain't beg that hard. Right, right. I give him his peace. I give you know, you gather his thoughts because I was been up all night just walking the face yeah. in the halls, just screaming just so I can hear my words echo through the damn house. <laughs> the echo does get annoying. Um, we get the question a lot: Why Floyd County? But least of all, why Stanville? Well, it's part of the United States. Last time I checked. You know, we're kind of funny about that, but. So, uh, in the press release, you say that he's a national hero. I yes. Guess, uh, did his actions uh, inspire you somehow? They really did, uh, because I like statues, I like heroes, and this is one that's still alive. So I really wanted to give him some credit and let him just say hi and let our area know him a little bit. People of the mountains and all throughout the area. Well. I'll, I'll go to him now. Yeah, tell, please, please. Tell us who you are. I guess. Who's, who's? I'm, I'm a dishwasher that used to work at a restaurant. I'm a taxpayer. I try to be a Christian. I do the right thing. I'm a people helper. You know what I mean? Because uh, it's it's ain't about them kids. They put them over there for a while. I help him. He might not need my help, but he's a friend of mine. Yeah. I help Becky. She might not need it. I help him. He might not need it. That's what we do. We're humans. It's called interacting. But that alienation crap and not getting in anybody's business and turning the other cheek. Well, what has that gotten us? Missing kids, murder, blah, 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 blah. So, you knew this uh, Ariel Castro. I, I guess you knew him. He was, he was a neighbor. Had, did you had some interaction with him before? Yes, he's a neighbor. If you were my neighbor, I'd interact with you. How would I interact with you? I'm glad you asked. Like, say I come out and I said, what's your name again, bro? My name's Ralph Davis. Ralph, I says, Ralph, how you think the University of Kentucky is going to do? Uh, don't answer that. It's a rhetorical question. I know exactly how they're going to do. But I also know that I got three girls in my basement. Now you want to go and ask me how the University of Kentucky is doing? What who cares what you they're doing? That's what he was. That type of dude. Yeah. Normal, just normal. He didn't, he didn't say anything to make you go. There was no raised eyebrow with him. You know what I mean? So nothing suspicious about him. At dude, all. for what he did, naturally you're a monster. How you did it and how you pulled it off and kept it a secret, you're a genius. Now, is that bad? You're a monster for doing what you're doing, so naturally I just bashed you. But then you're also a genius, so I just gave you a compliment. That's the type of person. You don't know what to do with this dude. You don't know, you can't label him. You know, he's a regular person. So how does that feel to, to how long did you live? A year. A year? Approximately. So you were living there that, all that time, and you had a monster, as you described him, living next door without even knowing it. Mm -hmm. that change your perspective about people or not so much the people in general it changes my perspective on the people that have been living across the street from him for decades see i wasn't I, i'm the only new kid on the block everybody else has raised families and their children have gotten older and, and married and gone on with their life the mother and the father that started that generation is still right there and you don't see nothing and then, like, like my friends say, it, it's not about they didn't see nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. It's not our business. You know what I mean? Hopefully, in due time, he'll get caught. And, you know, fine, we all like that. You know, you pray to God. You're going to get yours one day. Me, I ain't waiting on him. So, 
lot of times um, you get caught up into a big event like this and it takes some time to pass, I guess, uh, before it really hits you. I mean, how has it affected you as a person? None, because it hasn't hit me yet, because I refuse to let it hit me. You don't get, get consumed in stupidity. You know what I mean? That's what they want me to be, get consumed about. What we're doing right now is what Christians do when a Christian has done something that's worthy of being pat on the back. So, we got Bibles in hotel rooms for them. We got churches are being built. None that, that, it's all in vain, huh? Human species, we'll never get it right. Um, yeah, I can do this all day. What you got? I guess what's your reaction to? I, you, you, you've received some notoriety out of all of this, and I guess people come forward to congratulate you. What has your what's your reaction to all of that? I love you dearly. That's it. I mean, that, does it make you feel proud? Of course. Why wouldn't it? Oh yeah. It makes me feel proud because those girls aren't suffering anymore. That's my adrenaline rush. You know what I mean? That's my mental, my mental Red Bull. So, as I understand it, you heard screams coming from the house? Or, you know, the whole neighborhood area. heard screams. Yeah. That girl was so loud, she stopped me from eating my Big Mac. <laughs> Did you... Uh, did anybody else rush out there? Or? Sure. Did anybody else help? No. Okay. Uh, just one last question. Uh, have you been to this area of the country before? No. Okay. Well, what's your impressions? I need to find some land around here to start building a house on. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. You need any pictures or anything, Ralph? Or? Uh, I can grab video stills here. Okay. Unless you want to get in with him? No, that's fine. It's okay. It's his day. All right. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.